San Clemente. I'm Heather. I'm going to be your new host of SC Times Board Shorts. Very excited to be here for you. Today we are here at the San Clemente Cabrillo Playhouse where we are teaching kids how to make their own surf movies. So let's find out. Dreams do not exist. They're not real. I've never had one, but I thought you said you were more experienced than we are. I am, and therefore I am the most qualified to tell you whether or not there is such a thing as dreaming, and I can guarantee you that dreams are a load. They don't exist. They can't they do not exist. Well, they, 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 they will not exist. They cannot exist, especially not in my classroom. Dreams are a lot. I'm Laurel Zwilling, and you're watching SanClementiTimes.com. And so they've gone through this whole process, and today it's really about planning. Okay, I can get this done. How can I do it? and doing a full-on uh, production schedule from pre-production, principal photography, to post-production. So um, they'll have this thing all uh, you know, sorted out. So by February 1st, they'll be able to submit their film. And February 20th, we will announce the contest winner, which um, that person will be, uh, their film will be featured on Phil TV. So we're really excited and they're really motivated. And um, we're gonna meet with them every month, make sure they're on track. And it's just been a great bunch of kids, and I think they've gotten a ton out of it, and I know definitely we have. Well, my favorite was learning about the establishing shot and doing this whole thing, because now I get, now I can use my camera for something that I can really do. Yeah. Instead of just doing things. Uh, right, and just filming random yeah. stuff in your life. Yeah, there are tons of surf movies out on the web all over the place, but stuff that really gets you noticed is when you actually put a story into it and makes it even more. Yeah, cool, awesome. All right, Patrick. Um, I liked when um, the Chris yesterday came and showed us the little surf video that he made. That was pretty cool. That's, That's Matthew. Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Yeah, that surf video was awesome. And it was just like he talked about, right? It was a story. Surf was just a part of it. And that's exactly what we're doing. Awesome. <laughs> Get your head out of the clouds and into your books. The only way that you're going to get anywhere in this life is by doing things the way they have always been done. Hi, my name is Matthew Barge. Uh, I'm showing my surfing film today. It's uh, named Sky High. I wrote it, directed it, and edited it. Uh, it's about a, it's a narrative uh, about a, a teacher named Mr. Mann, and he has a number of uh, high school surfers who he's in charge of for the year. And uh, it builds up to the final project where either they pass the final project and they pass the class or they fail and they have to start over again next year. So the, the film is part narrative and it also showcases a lot of surfing. Uh, but it's not the normal surfing that you would see in most surf videos. I, lose, I use a lot of uh, techniques that haven't been used thus far um, with digital effects, data mosh. Uh, I got a video game, kid playing a video game in the class. Uh, I've got visual effects, I've got 3D video, and we're going to be uh, uh, watching that with 3D glasses over at the, uh, over at the screening. Uh, I've got a whole slew of stuff, stop motion animation, and it's all wo uh, woven around this story about these high school surfers and their teacher named Mr. Man. It's taken me about the last year to make this movie. Uh, I've been working on it pretty much nonstop. I can honestly say that I gave it my all. Uh, doing stuff like stop motion animation takes a lot of time. What you're doing is taking a, a, a single picture and uh, taking a whole uh, bunch of those in sequence and putting them together uh, just one or two frames at a time. So what happens is you get a, a real choppy animation and it takes about, uh, gosh, I don't know, spent a good three weeks on that animation working on it full time. Yeah, I use Final Cut Pro. I also use After Effects for a lot of the digital effects. Um, there's a lot of techniques out there that people aren't using in surf videos and that's one of the things that I really want to showcase in this video. Um, doing something like 3D video hasn't really been done in surf videos, and I'm really excited to see what people think. Uh, it's the ones, the anaglyphic 3D glasses, the blue and red ones that you can watch. Uh, it gives depth to the image. Uh, so I feel that these are the kinds of uh, techniques that are going to be uh, important looking forward in surf videos. It's been a long process. Um, it's my first time directing, and I'm really excited with the product. I'm very proud of it, and I'm really looking forward to showcasing it uh, next Friday, August 21st, at San Clemente High School in the Little Theater. It's a form of expression that's always been um, hugely important to the sport as a way of communicating 
uh, what was going on. If you wanted to find out what surfers in Australia, what they surfed like, what their boards were like, what their surf breaks were like, just it was a way of sharing information. The surf magazines and the videos continue to uh, furnish that that important um, part of the culture. Hi, my name is Steve Pesman, and I'm the co-publisher of the Surfers Journal, which is a uh, bi-monthly uh, that we do in San Clemente, California. Well, I was fortunately invited to talk about surf filmmaking with a group of uh, intrepid young uh, would-be filmmakers. Uh, I'm not an expert on the topic, so I talked to them about the history of surf filmmaking uh, from my perspective. And so all these surfers now had a big appetite for surf movies. So all of a sudden, when there was just Bud Brown and Greg Knoll, then pretty soon there was John Severson making surf movies who started here in, in San Clemente. He, uh, he started taking films of his friends surfing and then inviting them over, getting a keg, inviting all his surf buddies up to his apartment, charging him 75 cents to see the movies. Then all of a sudden he started making a surf movie. His first surf movie was called uh, Surf Theater and he made it while he was living in San Clemente. By then he graduated from Long Beach State. And a word of advice, I know that probably most of you are taking this class just out of kind of just something that's interesting to do for the summer. A few of you might actually uh, end up trying to do something about it in terms of really making a film. But if you just take a simple story like um, a day in the life of a surfboard, the surfboard starts off in the rack in the garage. If you treated the surfboard like a person, and the surfboard's going, oh, I hope he comes and rides me today. And then he goes out and gets a perfect wave. That's a very simple story. It's just a day in the life of the surfboard. But you have a thing that holds your interest in the beginning, a conflict that's solved in the middle, and the perfect wave at the end, which is kind of an impact. Well, that's a kind of a silly story. But, uh, but the, the method and the, and the way of thinking and solving, the way of seeing the problem of the storyline and solving it is actually, that kind of illustrates it. I learned about shot list and like, I didn't know it was like that. I learned that there's like a bunch of steps that go into like, you're just making like a commercial or a movie. Like I didn't know there was like that many steps and that you had to be that organized. Yeah. My name is Matthew Barge and you're watching SanClemoneyTimes.com.